Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this weekend's test server. So the test server, we are testing a new light weapon called the Obelisk. And I have that loaded up on my Vitias right now, along with the Trebuchet. So the Obelisk is sort of a light version of the Trebuchet. It has the same range. Uh, everything is pretty much the same, um, except for obviously the damage that it does and the reload time. Um, I put it on the VTS uh, specifically because that way you can see you know, how long it takes uh, to reload uh, when compared to the trib. So if you take a look at the bottom or at least the uh, right side um, on my screen you know, where the fire button is, you can see how quickly it's loading up uh, relative to that trebuchet. So let's fire again at this player and you can see there um, that player back there has um, a physical shield. I'm just trying to see if I can perhaps target they have a butch with the trebs back there, so I'm going to wait until I'm fully loaded up. And then we can take a look to see how much damage we can do to that player. It's taking a while because I'm waiting for my trebuchet to load up. And uh, that's how much damage I was able to inflict on that player. Not a lot. Um, you got to consider too that they have uh, four trebs back there and I have uh, only one and uh, two obelisks. I'm going to take another shot. You know what's kind of interesting is that sometimes when I'm firing on the test server the whole screen flashes. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm assuming it's a bug. But uh, let's take another shot at that player. Okay, so that's the amount of damage that you do um, if you're running uh, two of them along with the trip. I'm going to take one more shot and then I'm going to get out of uh, this bot. And then I'm going to switch to um, another build uh, where we are running uh, PAPS. Uh, four of them maybe on a pattern. I also have two on the Jesse Just Gonna wait they have a couple of players back there. Oh jeez, you dodge one you get hit by another Okay, so that's how much damage we do with the Vityas. I'm gonna get out of this bot now. Uh, let's run the pattern and uh, This will give you an idea of how much uh, damage this weapon does when you fire four of them Okay, so I, I have this on the pattern. I put it on the Jesse as well uh, the Jesse, the reason why I put it on the Jesse is actually because the Jesse is a lot quicker and it allows you to um, Let me just see if I can perhaps get that player there It allows you to get around the map a lot quicker. So that's why I threw it on there um, It may be an option for those of you that may have uh, the Jesse robot as well And we are testing uh, the Dragoon as well. So that's the first time that iOS players have seen the Dragoon weapon so that you see right there I think I hit I think that's the that's a Griffin so that's how much damage I did to the <laughs> to that Griffin back there with you know full damage of this weapon see so we can hit that player not a lot of damage and I think at some point they are probably going to possibly buff this a little bit um, I'm not talking about a major buff here because this is a light weapon and of course uh, you know you also have the reload time being a lot quicker too. Um, the thing, the thing with the, this weapon, because it's a light weapon, you can't make it too powerful because players will end up running it on, say, a Natasha or a Leo, along with the Trebuchet. And obviously, you don't want that uh, doing too much damage. So I guess this is another option for those players who like running the Gecko. Oh man, I'm getting hit so bad. So you can see how long it's taking me to hit or at least to take this player down here in front of me. I think what's going to be interesting is how much damage I do at the end of the game running, you know, all these uh, setups. Trying to see if I can perhaps get a shot in on this player here. So there we go. I was able to take uh, him out. So that's, uh, that's running the 4. Again, not a lot of damage. I'm going to get out of this one. Let's run it on a Jesse. So this is what I mean on the Jesse. You know, in case you happen to have the Jesse and you want another option where you can move around the map a lot quicker. Um, something like this might be good for getting beacons as well. And giving you the ability to at least uh, you know hit the player from way out. 
I'm just uh, waiting for this player here. So you can see how quickly I'm able to get behind cover. So I think that's the benefit of running um, this Jesse build. <laughs> They're looking at me. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to bait that player out. Oh, oh wow. They got hit by, was that the Dragoon? Yeah, it was a Dragoon. What is the range on that thing? I think it's like 500 or something. But I will be doing a separate video on that just so that you guys can see, uh, you know, what that weapon does. The range and everything. Trying to see if I can find a target here. I think I prefer um, the Obelisk on the Jesse just because I can move around the map a lot quicker. I kind of like that. Trying to see if there's a player out there that I can hit. And I think what I like too about this weapon is just the visuals. I prefer the blue over the, the trebuchet color. Trying to uh, target down these players. <laughs> but the target, you know, my targets are so tiny because I'm on an iPhone. I'm trying to focus on players back there. And it's a lot harder to see them when I compare it to my iPad. Just waiting for this guy to get out of stealth. Come on. Here we go. I'm going to take a couple more shots here with the uh, Jesse. And then I am going to uh, get out of this bot and then I'm going to run, I think I'm going to run the Leo and then the uh, Natasha if I have enough time. Yeah, so i got to get out of this bot here quick because, take a look, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can perhaps get um, one, one or two shots with this uh, Leo just so that you guys can see. Waiting for everything to charge up so that we can see how much damage, um, you know, something like this uh, could do. Because I know there's going to be players out there who want to run like sniper uh, builds. I'm not sure if they have any uh, players left here. I'm trying to find a target before the game ends. Let's see if we have. Uh, this is player over here. He's getting. He's getting the beacons. This one's smart. While everyone's back there fighting, this guy's getting the beacons. He's going to win the game. This is the game winner right here. Okay, so that's how much damage I do, and I don't believe I hit anything. It was a clean shot. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can perhaps get another clean shot. And uh, there's a player back here. Mm. Yeah, I think they ran behind. I think they ran behind that pillar back there. So let's see if we can get... I just need one clean shot, and then I will hop into my Natasha. Okay, so this, yeah, this is a, we have a, a Spectre robot. <laughs> he just jumped because he wanted to go into stealth. He's going to be hiding. Someone needs to hit him. Come on, move to the side. I just need one more shot. Oh man. <laughs> I was going to shoot this player here in front of me. We're going to take one more shot um, at this player who's uh, in the uh, valley here. And uh, whoa, that was a lot of damage uh, to that Spectre. So uh, the Spectre is, uh, or it used to be called the Exorcist. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, you know, what robot is that? I'm going to take one more shot and that should finish them off. We have a <laughs> we have 25 seconds. This thing's got to it's got to charge up in 25 seconds and then I can do maybe one shot. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. I think what I'm going to do is after this game, I'm going to try to run another game and I will start off with uh, this build and maybe I will I'm just debating. Maybe I'll throw in a Gepard with uh, three of the Obelisk weapons. Uh, so those of you that may have a Gepard, maybe you want uh, like a beacon runner 
and uh, you have the ability to uh, hit that 1100 meter range or long range. So again, this is you know how we did damage wise in comparison to uh, some of the other players out there. Uh, let's see what they were running actually. Let's see what this player was running. So this player was running a combination of uh, the Spectre and the Fury with the Dragoon. I just want to show kind of, um, you know, what these other players were running. Um, then we can compare their damage compared to, you know, what I was uh, scoring. Okay, so uh, this one is uh, ranked third. So they have some of those bots. And obviously, you know, I'm just running uh, the Arbalist here. And I'm going to show you, you know, what I have loaded up. So everything is level 8. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run another game, switch things up just slightly, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how we do damage-wise. And then you can see, you know, I guess the damage it does, like if you're running, like, say, 2, 3, 4, uh, you know, on your bot. And, uh, yeah, so let's get down to game number 2. Okay, so game number 2 we have dropped in on Yamantau map, and I'm going to uh, start off with my Natasha here with the Arbalist and uh, yeah we're gonna see how what we do here so let me see if I can perhaps target down uh, this player here you know what's uh, interesting is I'm seeing these uh, flashes on my screen and you know earlier I was actually on Springfield map and I thought maybe it's a thunderstorm but I'm not sure now <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I saw it again trying to see if I can perhaps get this player <laughs> you see their legs below that uh, ramp there. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. But you know what? I think a lot of that damage actually came from the trebuchet, not so much uh, the obelisk. Uh, but what I will do is, because I have a Gepard in my lineup, and I'm going to be uh, using that, and we can see how much uh, 3 does. Oh, do you see that? That uh, Spectre, he jumped, he went into stealth, but I still hit him just as he got into stealth there. Oh man, <laughs> that Lancelot, he turned around and then <laughs> I hit him from behind. That's why you never turn around and you look <laughs> elsewhere. Always keep your eye on your opponents. There's always going to be that player. Oh, he did it again. Oh, no. <laughs> it's funny because he was looking around. He didn't know where it came from. I'm going to try to see if I can perhaps do some damage to this player down below. Because I think that's a player that hit me. But I'm waiting forever for my trebuchet to load up here. There's also this player here. What is this guy in? Ooh. Oh, you know what? That's a carnage. I think that that's a carnage that I hit back there. Okay, so we have a carnage up top here. Let's see if we can hit him. And uh, for those of you wondering about the whole, uh, you know, the Spectre robot and the uh, Dragoon weapon, I will probably be doing a separate video, uh, at least on the Dragoon. You know, um, I'm going to run the Spectre, see how well, you know, that plays out. You know, whether I need to actually do another video on it, because apparently they have changed a couple of things uh, for that and I want to uh, review that uh, once again but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do a video on it um, we'll see I'm trying to hit that player there I think they are probably going to move to the right side yeah there's another player on this side here too let's hit him Okay, now that I've actually taken a few shots uh, with this Natasha, I'm going to get out of uh, this build here. And I'm going to run the Gepard. And I threw this in because I know there are some players out there that want to run like a troll bot <laughs> or a beacon runner. And uh, there are some that actually run this with the Gecko. But maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want another option and uh, this could be another one um, or another build rather that you may want to try out. Okay, so let's run this and see how well we do. Oh man, I got hit by... Notice how many times I got hit there? 
<laughs> I managed to get a player down below, but I got hit by a butch. <laughs> and look at my health. Okay, so that's how much damage 3 does. So if I get taken out here, that's fine. And there's a butch back there. <laughs> I'm trying to hug the wall here and there's a guy on the left side of me too. I'm so gonna get taken out by that butch. He just needs to get me on the side here too. 1,970. Man, if I survive and I take out this guy, it's gonna be a miracle. He's gonna be jumping, he wants to take me out because I... Someone just needs to breathe on me right now. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna just move around. Oh, the... Ah, damn, I knew I was gonna get hit by that guy on the side. <laughs> it's always gotta be the butch. Ooh, did I hit that player? I don't think so. I think they were behind cover. I can't see. It's a lot harder to see uh, smaller targets when you're on an iPhone. The good news though is, um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but the uh, developers are actually thinking of uh, giving us the option to scale the uh, UI. Uh, that pretty much means that, for example, like, you know, players such as myself, um, you know, playing on an iPhone, the controls are very, very small. And uh, in the future, or at least uh, this year, we will have the option to actually make the controls bigger. Trying to see if I can perhaps hit this player here. Ooh, that was quite a bit of damage uh, to that Spectre. And I know a lot of players are saying that the Spectre is uh, too powerful. And I think it actually may be on this test server. I have to uh, run a couple of rounds with it. Uh, but the thing is, with that robot, it doesn't have that much HP. It's uh, very similar to something like the Carnage. I mean, if he jumps, I might still be able to actually kill him. I'm not even going to go for beacons right now. Because that's not what I... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh man, that weapon. So, this uh, player in front of me, uh, this Fury, is running the Dragoon weapon. Which is... Another weapon we are testing on the test server. So that's a uh, heavy weapon you can see on the uh, the Fury. Kind of like a pulse weapon. Uh, very similar, I guess, to maybe the Tehran would be a better description. <laughs> I'm trying to hit that butch back there. Just to be annoying. I think this is more of one of those weapons where... You know, like you get hit by geckos, it's it's annoying. And if you are out in the open for too long, then you can get taken out. I think that's one of, this reminds me of one of those weapons. Yeah, four of these don't really do that much damage, but I don't think you want it to do too much. Guys, I don't know if you saw that, but I was looking into the distance and I saw my screen flash. So again, I think it might actually be a bug. When I was on Springfield earlier and I saw that, I thought maybe the developers are thinking about adding sort of, um, you know, environmental effects. So for example, let's just say there's a thunderstorm and you see the sky light up like that. Maybe they are testing that, I'm not sure, but it, it almost looks like it may be a bug. Because there's no clouds in the sky right now, it's a clear sky. So yeah, I'm not sure about what's going on there. I'm trying to hit that butch. Oh man. I think they're getting annoyed by me because it's just a couple of shots. Oh, look at that. And I'm kind of hitting him, but not by much. There's only two players uh, left on my team right now. So this game's not going to last for very long. I'm just trying to be annoying with my uh, pattern. And uh, let's run with the Jesse. So <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run all the way to the left side because these guys are going to be, yeah, they're going to be 
spawning or at least uh, getting to our spawn here and uh, if you take a look at the timer 52 seconds so I gotta survive for uh, 40 seconds here and I'm looking at uh, yeah I think hmm I don't know the beacon bar is very close I'm trying to avoid this player just being really annoying you know what's interesting is I was uh, firing at the ground there I don't know if it's because of the angle uh, the player in front of me being slightly lower and uh, that's why it's firing into the ground so I just need to stay alive for actually you know what at this point that might just be enough we get one more shot in oh I don't know if I got that player. Oh, so we just barely lost that one. But uh, let's see how well we did in terms of damage here. Okay, so I came second and uh, that was me running the uh, Arbalest on the Natasha with the trebuchets as well as three on the Gepid. The Gepid didn't uh, survive for very long, obviously. <laughs> you saw me get hit by multiple trebs uh, there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Arbalest weapon. Uh, in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on this weapon is this something that you would like on the live server and if so uh, what would you run uh, this weapon with and uh, that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed consider subscribing until the next video i'll catch you guys later